Hey Libra, this is going to be a special tarot reading. This spread is called Trust Your Gut. It's a five card spread. The first card is your feelings toward the situation. The second card is how accurate your feelings are. The third card is what you are missing about the situation. The fourth card is why you should trust your gut. And the fifth card is what you need to know going forward, how to proceed. The Ace of Pentacles popped out from the top. And I just wanted to show it really quick as a form of like eagle eye protection. Divine blessings drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. Ace of Pentacles. Makes sense. Earth, yes. Four shuffles. Get some of your energy, Libra. So, do you have a situation you want to receive information about? Let's get into it. Let's see if I can provide you with some answers. One more shuffle. Starting with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom, Libra. Does that give you any answers? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Submission to higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Yes. All right. Trust your gut, your feelings toward the situation. Libra's feelings toward the situation. One card. Oh, I'm going to take the top card. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Whew. Your feelings towards the situation, you're focused on your divine blessings, um, driving away evil spirits, ruling the agricultural production. You could truly be focusing on what you're consuming, what you're taking in, what you're eating, what you're drinking, and how important it is right now. But beyond that, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is you. You feel like you're, you're, you're going for your bag. Like Libra, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift. You're utilizing your gifts and talents and you're going for the bag. Yeah, don't, don't waste the gift. That's your feelings about it. Yeah, you're taking this as a new beginning. You've been through very difficult undertakings. And this is all about a new beginning for you. How accurate your feelings are. Top card. Gosh. The fool. Very accurate, Libra. No, not foolish. This is about your free will. It says will and new beginnings. About your willpower, your free will in this life, Libra. Maybe in some past lives, you didn't have as much free will, right? I, I am feeling that energy. Maybe you couldn't be who you wanted to be exactly in a past life. But in this life, you're being given that freedom and that willpower to follow your dreams, pursue them. Yeah, speaking of past lives, I'm, I didn't even see the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups, my past life card. Motivation lifts up those who 
who are fallen or humiliated. See, you're no fool. You're nobody's fool. You lift, you motivate, and you lift up those, the underdogs. Don't you, Libra? Yes, you do. I know you do. Okay, what are you missing about the situation? I feel like the situation here is your life in general. Like, okay. <laughs> What's Libra missing about the situation? Bottom. The Queen of Pentacles. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensation. What you are missing about the situation. This is your destiny, the wheel of fortune. Ha have you always felt different? Have you always felt destined? Yeah, forget different. Right? Forget different. I'm feeling like you've always felt destined, Libra. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Metatron. Let's go. The recording angel. What has been recorded from your past lives, now this life. This is part of your destiny. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. <sighs> For some of you, maybe you've like, your faith has wavered through the years, or maybe you didn't feel as close to the most high as you once did as a child, or maybe you've never really felt that super close connection and you've asked yourself like, is my name even in the book of life? <laughs> most of it is Libra. Yes, it is. I know as cheesy as this sounds, I'm hearing like every day is a new day. You can try harder than yesterday. You're making advancement and progress and you're destined to do great things. Possibly to be a teacher, a guide. I just heard a scribe as well. Why should you trust your gut? Why should Libra trust their gut? Why should Libra trust their gut? Because the Ten of Swords, revelation protects from sadness, gives revelations in dreams. Because you have overcome so much already. You've overcome so much, Libra. Now it's time to come out the other side of that struggle, the other side of that tragedy, the other side of that pain, that loss. Into the new beginning that we started this reading with, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. Your feelings are accurate. The Empress at the bottom. Why you should trust your gut because you are the Empress.
fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. You know why? You're such an earth angel. Look at this image. She's literally... It's because you've given water to snakes. I know that sounds crazy. And I'm not saying to ever do it again, okay? Don't ever get as close to a snake as you already have in your past, okay, Libra? Look at the image of the Empress Angel letting this snake get a drink out of her chalice. Why you should trust your gut? Because <laughs> you've given, you've let snakes drink out of your chalice. So I think by now, you have developed discernment. And you're ready to let that energy and that time, that part of your life go. Those people, those situations, though that toxicity, that stress. I felt a knot in my stomach. But now I feel it releasing. At the end of this, I think I'll go ahead and do a chime relaxation. I call it ringing the doorbell to the divine. Let's keep pushing forward. One more card, Libra. What you need to know going forward and how to proceed. What does Libra need to know? Going forward, how to proceed. How to proceed, yes indeed. Strength, oh my gosh, you cannot make it up. What do you need to know moving forward? Loyalty. Delivery from those who seek to oppress. I heard your ops brings victory. Oh my gosh, the strength card. The divine is delivering you in front of your enemies, delivering you blessings, peace, abundance, victory loyalty because you were loyal i don't know you're loyal to your heart um you were loyal to the most high the divine you were loyal to those close to you that loyalty is paying off libra and not that you ever did it to be paid off to begin with that's not why we like to do it. We like to do it because we feel good. I don't know if it like releases endorphins in my brain <laughs> that like it does something I think to my soul though. Forget the endorphins, okay? Forget the dopamine or the serotonin. I don't know what giving chemicals can be released when you're giving but it makes you feel good and it makes you feel like you're making a difference and possibly whoever you're making a difference for is then going to be like wow good people exist good people still exist and they're going to be a good person to someone else and it's like a chain reaction of true divine of true divine light and love. Wow. Six of Wands. Yo! At the bottom? That's double confirmation of victory, Libra. Longevity protects against infirmities. Look at him holding the caduceus. 
I hear Archangel Michael. Did you? I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but I just heard sirens outside. Whoa, Archangel Michael is here. We got Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael. Wow, Libra. Six of Wands. Longevity. Protects against infirmities, which I feel is like sickness. I heard in sickness and in health. They're looking out for you, Libra. The angels. Trust your gut. Well, Libra. Trust my gut. I'm going to end this off with an oracle. Okay. A medicine card for you. What's Libra's medicine? Oracle for Libra. One card, Libra. Ah, oh, Libra. You have reached the other side, like I said earlier. You can only walk through, you can only walk halfway through the darkest forest before you're coming out the other side. I believe it's a Chinese proverb, proverb, proverb. Um, you're look, you're seeing the light. You've come out of that dark time in your life and now is the rebirth has happened i am hearing it's complete you're stepping into the new you wow this is so crazy <laughs> okay death transfiguration with conception tree of life the birth well actually now this reminds me of the ace of pentacles with this seed and this earth energy the seed you have planted you're birthing a new you thank you spirit you're transforming you've transformed and it's a birth process of a new you You're in the labor of love process at the moment, I feel like. Conception has taken place. There has been growth. And now you're in that last... You're in that last canal. Seeing the light. Being birthed into a new you. Metaphorically, of course, Libra. Let go and surrender. Your tendency for control does not serve anymore. Change your perception and see the bigger picture. Everything is working out perfectly. Familiarity is not a reason to hold on to the old. A new life awaits. You are ready to move on. Trust. Don't be scared. For the death card marks the beginning. You have been avoiding letting go for the fear of losing something you hold dear. Death appears now to encourage you to surrender. You will not be alone as you move through a portal into the next and glorious stage of the cycle called life. 
once you push through this change, that's so crazy, push. Once you push through this change and take the first unfamiliar, unfamiliar steps of your journey, you will find you have brought everything you need with you. In the past, fear has prevented you from experiencing the new life you have been longing for. A shamanic knowledge of the transference of energies enables the skills, knowledge, and wisdom acquired through experience and lessons learned to journey with you. Your guides from the spirit world will remain by your side. Transmigration ensures you will emerge wiser and more powerful than ever before as you face change and leave behind the old, familiar form. The birth of the new you. I just saw 2111 on the clock. 2111. Maybe you've been trying to play like two roles I'm hearing. Not like a double life, but you've been... You've def there's definitely been two yous in the past. You've been still trying to please and be the old Libra, right? Pleasing others, putting others' needs before your own. Um, but then also wanting to become this confident, self-assured, successful Libra. And you've been merging those two together for a while, two to the one, one, one. It's time to leave that old you behind and embrace the new one, one, one. Libra, you like how I broke down that angel number? This is amazing. Let's read just a little bit of Tree of Life Conception. Solid preparation is key to your success. Take responsibility for your actions. A new idea will need careful planning. See a project through from start to finish. A challenge is a blessing in disguise. A decision needs to be made. Time to reinvent yourself. What? Houseway. It all comes full circle from what we talked about at the beginning of the reading and here at the end of the reading. Spirit truly speaks to us, Libra. And I think the message has been pretty consistently clear throughout this reading. It's the birth of the new you. It's time to reinvent yourself. Um... Any idea that you've had and conceived, it's vital you nurture it so it can come to fruition. This is as well part of your destiny. If you have an amazing idea, research, prepare, be ready to see it through. All additions to our lives bring forth challenges and change but also they offer important spiritual connections. Listen to this. We all have roots that are seated in our past lives and branches that stretch out into our future possibilities. How you tend to your tree affects what it produces. And didn't we say in the very beginning, I said, Agricultural, what are you putting in your body? How well are you taking care of yourself? What are you consuming? Foods and drinks, Libra. Yes, we did. And this is saying literally. Either a healthy apple or spoiled fruit. A dying tree weak at the roots or bereft of fol foliage means a compromised connection to the source of all life as well as to your inner wisdom. From such a place, very little stands a chance of being given life. 
Ancient and modern religions use the tree of life to symbolize the process of attaining wisdom or enlightenment. And I just heard at the end of the, it's time to put your ideas. Something just moved in my kitchen and no one's down here. Oh, and I just saw something fly. Well, well, well. That was amazing. It was a little white figure. That was amazing. You guys heard that on the camera, I hope, whatever noise that was. And I literally, now my right ear's ringing. <laughs> okay. What I was getting ready to say is very important. It's time to put yourself first, your ideas, okay? Not in a narcissistic way, put yourself first, but I'm talking about truly Libra. You've been giving and living for others for so long of your life. Now's the time. Reinvent yourself. The spirit guides really are saying this is part of your destiny. You have a great grand destiny to live, okay? The time is now. The time has come. Continue to work towards whatever you are manifesting or becoming or whoever you are becoming, Libra. Now I'm hearing... It's natural. It comes natural. I don't know if that's even a song, but I'm hearing for Libra, it comes na it'll come natural to you, Libra. All of it. Or it does already. I hope this reading provided guidance. If it did, give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Over 35,500 Librans on Libra land. We keep growing. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart chakra. I truly do. Stay balanced and stay blessed. Until next time. Peace.